Okay, I'll show you a couple different things here with intersections. Um, first, I should probably bring these over here so you can see these. There's a couple different options that I usually always have on. Um, highlight connectivity, you'll want to check mark in the view panel. Uh, that'll help you with uh, making sure all your road connections are the way you want them. And I'll show you that in a sec here. The other options that I always have on in the layers panel are uh, restricted turns, unknown roads, and roads. Um, you can see some roads here, and the red ones are the unknowns. So now with that selected, you only see the unknowns. That makes it a little easier just to find all your unknown ones. Um, so you can edit them and get them to be known roads. Um, usually got both selected though, so you can see both at once. The highlight connectivity option helps you uh, with road connections. If you select one, you'll see there's these colored lines, a green one and an orange one. Uh, the green line means that from your selected road, you can drive to that segment and the orange line means that from this segment you can drive onto your selected segment um, let's take care of these intersections now what do we have here this first one is Gettys Okay, so I'll select that road and edit road details to get it named. I'm in Canada, so I don't do anything with this state box. I guess actually anywhere outside of the United States leaves that alone. Uh, this is in Arrington. Gettys Road, it's a two-way. Okay, so save changes. Add new street, yes. Okay, now the editor has a nice feature that will automatically create an intersection for you and um, also help you deal with turn restrictions for that new intersection. Um, this road connects here. What I like to do is edit geometry and take the end, if they're not already connected anyways, I'll take the end and extend it past the road that it will connect to. Uh, this leaves me with a cross. This little extra stub here doesn't really matter at this point. Uh, you, I'll just be getting rid of it in a second here. Um, so I'll it doesn't matter which, but select one of your roads and then uh, split road at a point. And you want your split point to be in the middle of that cross. Save changes. Now the editor will have made a intersection here and underneath that G there, there there is one of those little blue dots um, that designate the intersection um, what I want to do here now is remove all turn restrictions as you can see there's a turn restriction in every direction now so none of these roads even though they're all connected to the intersection point um, none of the roads themselves are connected to each other yet well except for the already existing connections you can see here that one's connected to that side because it used to be one road so splitting it those connections were maintained but uh, it, it didn't automatically make any connections with the crossroad um, so we'll select the intersection point again remove all turn restrictions um, now you'll notice that the turn restrictions are still there this is just a bug with the editor the restrictions should have been taken away and if you zoom out a level you'll see they're gone and if you select one of the roads you'll see now they're all connected I'll zoom back in here I'll select my unwanted stub and delete it delete road okay so now I have the three-way intersection that I wanted 
Uh, let's move down here to the next road and I'll show you the manual way to do it when uh, the automatic way fails. Okay, and this is Evans, I believe. Yes, Evans Road. Save changes, create new. Zoom in a bit here. I usually zoom into that 20 meter level whenever I'm doing stuff. Okay, we'll do the same thing here. Edit geometry. Bring it past the point. I want it to connect that, keeping it in line with the end. And we'll do the same splitting operation here. Split. And if you want, you can delete that stub first if you don't need the stub. It doesn't matter whether you delete it before or after. But uh, sometimes it helps because if there was text covering up that intersection dot, and if you delete the stub, the text usually moves and you can see the dot again. Um, this time we'll ignore the dot so we make all these connections manually. Uh, select one road, and then hold down control and select a road that you can drive to from there and then connect roads by order of selection yes I'm sure so now when I select Evans there should be a green line here showing that I can drive there and there is I will do the same on the other side so now from Evans I can go out in both directions but I can't go in yet so we'll select one of these Arrington Road segments and you see it's only orange here meaning I can drive from there but I can't yet go to there so we'll make that connection as well and the same thing over here and now all our turning restrictions are gone the three-way intersection where you can go all directions Hopefully that helps. That's how I take care of intersections.